How you doing, Mr. Smith? All right, how are you? Doing good. Getting complaints from the surrounding businesses about your volume. Now, your ability to protest here in this little spot is fine and legal. But you can't interrupt these other folks doing legal business around here. Okay? Okay. What's the decibel level? Hmm? What's the decibel level? Anything that creates the... How is it that the law puts it? Uh, the rest and repose or normal activities of another person. Seems subjective, doesn't it? Hmm? Well, they wrote the law. I didn't. I just enforce it, okay? Yeah. So that's what you're dealing with. I, I know. And this isn't and personal between... out here in the street can't be in the street. Because they're blocking traffic, or...? Mm -hmm. Could be, yes. Oh, could be, okay. It's dangerous for them and the other, and the motors around here. Okay. All right. Well, um, Officer Compton, I know that you don't like to be bothered. It's not a matter of bothered. I mean, that's what I get paid for. I get okay. paid to answer calls and handle problems. And I try to do my job to the best of my abilities. And uh, protect and serve the innocent, right? Yes. What about those babies? Well, sir, it's as I said. You have your right to do what you're doing here, but you cannot interfere with that business, that business, that business, or any other business in the conducting of their normal daily activities. You don't have a problem with anybody else around here. So my First Amendment right can only go so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, until you step on somebody else's to toes. That's why you can't yell fire in a burning, in a, in a crowded theater. Well, I can. Uh, I know that that would cause damage. What we're doing is yelling you're causing, fire. You're causing damage <laughs> to these folks' business over here or over there, wherever. Well, okay. Oh, it's it's easy. I, I you know, you could we could sit here and argue this all day. It is what it is. I know you've been charged one time with a noise violation. Yeah, and I'm going for a court December fifteenth. Okay. Are well, you going to be there? Again. No, not that I know of. Okay. Okay. All right. I'd hate to, for it to be your off day. Well, because then I, you don't get paid as much, <laughs> right? Well. During the week, I, I don't have an off day. I'm only off uh, sometimes on the weekends. All right. But, uh, well, I'm going to stand here and protect the innocent. And uh, I, I don't know what, what the volume level means, but, you know, they want to put up for 18 years well, people murdering people here. I think that's on their heads. And I'll, 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 take, I'll, take, I'll take the charge. That's fine. Whatever. Well, you know, I'm trying to come to a peaceful and meaningful middle ground for everybody you know solomon you know, all that great wonderful stuff don't bother these folks we won't bother you you know we, we haven't even been to... over there yeah but the volume level sir is what we're dealing with here they're trying to conduct business in these offices around here yeah and him yelling out here at the top of his lungs no that was me okay and it wasn't at the top of my lungs. well maybe the top's more but anyway whoever it was was yelling was yelling too loud and I was interfering preaching. with business huh? I was preaching. Well, and we didn't come out here to protest. That's why I haven't thought of it. Okay. Preaching, protesting, whatever we want to call it, you know, semantics. We can get into this all day, like I said. But it is what it is. Okay. Preaching saves. Protesting, I don't, it's political, I guess. We're, we're out here to protect and, and I, the, I the innocent there. I understand your, your reasonings and so forth. And, you know, it's like we've talked about before. The, the law is the law, and that's what I'm here for. And I, I'm, the law is that you can do what you're doing as long as it doesn't interfere with what somebody else is doing. Yeah, the, well, the reason that I got um, cited the first time, it was about where I was at. You know that, right? And you didn't happen to be there today, but, there but Officer day. West just wanted to write me a ticket. So he said, it's not about the volume, it's about where you're at. And I said, here you go. He said, well, just deal with it in court. So. No, we're going to deal with it in court, and we're going to continue to preach because we're called by God to do it. Well, just, and God's bigger than just, the Richmond County is bigger than these neighbors, and we we're nice. We're, we don't. We're not. And, and I know that, and that's why I'm approaching you in the manner I'm approaching you. I understand you, that, sir. It you are nice, and I think you're you know reasonable enough to know that you're encroaching on somebody else's business in the area, and you don't want to do that. You want to do what you want to do your job, or. We will call it your job, or you want to do what you're aimed here to do is protect lives, right? Yes. Okay. You don't think some of these businesses around here protect lives? Sir, I'm actually doing your job. You know that? Well, and I need all the help I can get. I appreciate it. I understand that. You know. It's a good comeback, actually. <laughs>
Uh, but you understand that. I, I understand that. But when I do my job, there's a set of rules and laws that I have to go by. So I don't step on anybody else's toes, right? Right. God's okay. laws are higher. Mm -hmm. God's law laws abrogate well, man's laws if they conflict. Where do man's laws come from? Think about that. They come from God. Exactly. 